to prepare. One must prepare. Summary and it says success comes when adequate preparation meets with opportunity. You know, every athlete becomes a star when they know and practice the principle of preparation. Star athletes will be practicing and preparing today for an athletic activity that is going to hold next year. And athletes like that are those that break records. Athletes that practice, they are those that break records because preparation begets excellence. You know, a young boy told his father that he wanted to become a famous footballer. So his father told him, very possible, it is possible. So at 5 a.m., the father went to the boy, knocked on his door, wake him up, wake up boy, said, Father, please give me more time. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. And the father said, see, if you truly want to become the world's best footballer, then you've got to start waking up by 5 a.m., exercise, build up yourself to become what you want. And the boy, since then, 5 a.m., is up practicing. If you want to understand what I'm trying to say, look at Cristiano Ronaldo. You understand what I'm saying? So practice beget excellence. So the boy ended up becoming a world known footballer. So preparation beget excellence. You know, Napoleon Hill noted, he said, The art of war is a science in which nothing succeeds which has not been taught out or calculated. He said, The art of war is a science in which nothing succeeds which has not been taught out or calculated. So you must count the cost. Preparing for purpose involves counting the cost. And in preparation, it requires you building the right character. Yes, you must build the right character for your purpose. There is a law of be, do, and have. And the law says that there is somebody that you need to be so that you'll be able to do what you need to do so that you can have what you need to have. Yes, we all want a great life. We all want to live a life of affluence we all want to be known for something special we all want to change the world for the better but there is somebody you need to become in order to be able to do that and that's the law of be do and have take for example a boy that says okay i want to finance people i want to be a philanthropist and you have nothing now and the boy is not even practicing in principles of money all that he has is spends it all and you know king solomon said there are more treasure in the house of the wise, but the fool spends it all. And this is the same person that want to be a philanthropist. You a fool, a fool cannot become a philanthropist. The wise are those that are philanthropists because they have a lot in their treasures, and that's why they can take out of it to give to others. So you can't say you want to become a philanthropist and you are you are not frugal. You don't keep, you don't invest, you don't multiply what you get. You don't make manage and multiply your money and say you want to be a philanthropist. You are just dreaming. You are just wishing. Yes, you are just wishing. Come on, you are wishing. And if wishes were us, it's even beggars we ride. We all, we all, everybody out there has wishes. So for you to be able to do the kind of things that you want to do, where you want to do it, and with who you want to do it with, then you must become who you need to become. The law of be, do, and have. And that's part of the preparation. That's part of the preparation. Instead, you want to become a, a, a teacher, a public speaker, and yet you cannot even speak. When I mean speaking, it's not all about English. Even your own language, you don't know how to arrange. You arrange talk in your own language. Do you get it? Now, there are some. There are some people. They don't even learn. They don't learn the art of speaking. There's one thing that you want to speak English and you cannot speak it well. There are some grammatical blunders. You know that is not a crime, right? But it's a crime if you remain the same. But there's an art of teaching an art of public speaking that you must learn and if you don't learn that and you said you want to you are deceiving yourself you've got to prepare you've got to prepare and that was what i did although that while i was starting out although my english was poor very very poor still not satisfactory you understand but i learned the heart the art of public speaking 
okay this is what it requires this is what to put in place this is how to do it this is how to do it i learned it you must learn it that's part of preparation you know you will stand before million to address them and then because the very first day the experience you had it was as if you should do what you should disappear into the thing hair because your saliva dried off <laughs> your leg eating each other you have to <laughs> you have to repeat a speech three times because you don't know what else to say and because of that you stop doing it all together and you want to become somebody that will stand before millions it's not possible it's not possible god is not a magician yes success is not all about magic success is about doing what it takes what you need to do the law of sowing and reaping what you sow is what you reap what you are reaping is what you've sown and what you sow is what you reap is what you will reap so there is law of preparation you must build the right character for your purpose and that's the time of preparation